Picture Buckingham Palace's grand halls buzzing with life as Princess Anne returns from her hospital stay. This moment brings joy not just to her family, but to the nation, as her return symbolizes strength and resilience. While this event should only spark positive emotions, it's overshadowed by an unseen cloud of unease. Camilla's presence and behavior create tension, adding stress to an already difficult royal family situation. When news of Princess Anne's recovery broke, a wave of relief swept across the country. Anne, tough and determined, had bounced back and was ready to face life again. But where were Prince Charles and Camilla during this crucial moment? Their noticeable absence and seeming indifference raised many eyebrows. All the warmth and care came from her daughter Zara, devoted husband Tim Lawrence, and son Peter Phillips. Camilla, with her icy detachment, seemed sidelined from this significant event. Digging deeper, it's clear the relationship between Camilla and Anne has always been complex. Even years after Camilla joined the royal circle, tension between them has only grown. No social event can mask the frosty barrier separating these two women. Anne's body language reveals her true feelings, avoiding Camilla like she brings trouble and chaos. These tense scenes at family events, with Anne distant and Camilla pretending to fit in, are increasingly obvious. Camilla, like a black sheep, has never won over those who've always seen her as an outsider. Over the years, her attempts to fit in and earn respect in the royal family have been futile. Their troubled relationship began long before Charles and Camilla's marriage, only increasing tensions. Anna once dated Camilla's ex, Andrew Parker Bowles, adding another layer to their complex relationship. Camilla tries to earn respect through various efforts, but her attempts often fall flat with Anna. Even years after her wedding, Camilla remains an unwanted presence in the royal family. Experts say Camilla's role will always seem forced, despite her efforts to adapt to royal life. Anna, for her part, strives to maintain dignity and avoid hidden conflicts for recognition. Notably, Anna was hospitalized after a horse accident causing severe head trauma and memory loss. She couldn't recall the incident's details. Currently, the princess continues recovering, showing resilience and eagerness to resume her duties. It's likely Anna didn't want to stay in the hospital longer than absolutely necessary. Doctors noted she constantly expressed her desire to get up and go home. However, she wasn't home until a day later, indicating improved health and desire for normalcy. If her condition had been serious, medical staff would have insisted on extending her stay. The palace confirmed her discharge, but stressed it was too soon to discuss her return to duty. She'll resume her roles once doctors approve her full recovery. Surprisingly, her daughter and husband visited briefly, and her hospital exit went unnoticed. Ex-BBC royal correspondent Michael Cole said Anna and Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence couldn't avoid media attention. Perhaps the princess still showed signs of injury and wanted to avoid public exposure. However, still, 
Many questions linger as the palace awaits his return to duty. The big question, can he ever feel at ease around Camilla again? This issue remains unresolved and highly controversial. Tension between Camilla and Anne continues to spark interest. Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Like and subscribe to Secretos del Rey for royal family updates. Hopes for Camilla and Anne's friendship have been dashed. Anne and Camilla became family when Camilla wed Charles in 2005. Their relationship has always been cold and distrustful. Body language expert Judy James reveals true feelings in photos. The Queen and Prince Philip's reaction to their new daughter-in-law. Apparently they didn't approve of her joining the family. Turning their backs to the Queen and Prince Philip in official wedding photos created tension in the royal family. This move mirrored their unspoken disapproval. Body language expert Judy James says it showed Princess Anne's discontent and distancing. Though relations seem to improve, in June 2005, two months after Charles and Camilla's wedding, photos again revealed this underlying tension. James notes Anne deliberately created a barrier with Charles's new wife, increasing the sense of distance. Her posture and actions, like how she approached Charles, showed reluctance to accept Camilla. This became increasingly apparent. Gestures of disgust and exclusion from family events only worsened the gloomy atmosphere. In photos, everyone saw Camilla's nervous smile while Anna kept her distance, despite attempts to get closer. Their relationship, strained by Camilla's past with Andrew Parker Bowles, carried extra resentment. These experiences were so ingrained that even in formal meetings their interactions remained tense. Anna seemed determined to maintain a polite but distant demeanor, reflecting her disapproval. For a year, tensions eased slightly with rare moments of seeming friendliness. But even when they were seen, though laughing together, smiles remained a mere formality. James notes Camilla's efforts to prove her worth, yet many saw her as a royal novice. Beyond her dream of becoming a fully respected royal, the Commonwealth Day ceremony at Westminster Abbey offered a glimpse into the complex relationship between the two women amidst the event's traditional solemnity. Princess Anne showed that old grudges still linger. The Duchess of Edinburgh followed protocol, but notably avoided curtsying to Camilla. The royals gradually relaxed formal protocols, especially after Queen Elizabeth II's passing. This allowed Charles and Camilla to greet others more casually at Christmas concerts and events. Anne, however, remained aloof and unengaged. Public bowing became protocol when Camilla became Prince Charles's consort in 2005. 
new rules were established regarding curtsies and bows. Married royal women like Sophie had to curtsy to Camilla as the heir's consort. Anne and other royal born could show respect based on Camilla's presence with Charles. Charles's ascension and Camilla's new status made the bowing issue more significant. Anne's public devotion to Camilla remained an unwritten royal family chapter. Even in Charles's reign, Camilla and Princess Anne's relationship remains complex. Camilla's royal role still causes distrust among those reluctant to accept her importance. Skeptics argue that Camilla, despite her efforts, has never truly gained acceptance and respect, influenced by events from the 90s. The real issue lies in her failed attempts to build genuine relationships with other royals who view her as a threat to family traditions. Many believe her public image, rooted in past antipathy, remains unchanged for a large portion of the kingdom's subjects. Her presence is constantly surrounded by intrigue and secrets. Public events often reveal subtle signs of antipathy towards her. This year's Commonwealth Day ceremony again highlighted the royal family's underlying tensions. Camilla and Princess Anne faced each other, with all eyes scrutinizing their every move and expression. Onlookers searched for signs of coldness or distance between them. These moments, set against festive celebrations, make Camilla's presence more uncomfortable than she'd like. Each step and forced smile is met with keen observation of potential outcomes. For Camilla, this constant scrutiny has been challenging, with mixed success in joining the royal family. Critics doubt her efforts will pay off while overshadowed by more popular royals. Society remembers her history with Charles, which still impacts her present. Hidden controversies and gossip surrounding their relationship before it became official have left a legacy of mistrust and a negative atmosphere. Camilla, however, has taken steps to boost her reputation through charity work and community involvement. Yet everyone knows that politics isn't the foundation of credibility. Such efforts are scrutinized, especially in the royal family where traditions matter and any deviation is extensively discussed. The tension between her new and old roles is evident, and it may take time for history to accept her true intentions and contributions. Despite challenges, Camilla perseveres, though it seems more like a constant struggle for acceptance than a smooth journey. Time will tell if Buckingham Palace can again see true harmony, not just pomp and luxury. Camilla's place in the royal family remains a contentious issue. Her cool demeanor and hidden dislike cast a shadow on an otherwise idealized life. The debate her presence sparks shows many still find her role in society complex. Camilla has become a figure, a symbol of monarchy's other face, constantly defending its place and proving its worth to both family and public.
Her resilience against criticism is a testament to her inner strength. Yet her true intentions often remain hidden from public view as media scrutinizes her every move and gesture. She lives under constant pressure in an era where image and visibility shape public opinion. Camilla must navigate both royal family dynamics and public expectations. Her charity work and efforts to show compassion may gradually shift the public's perception of her. However, the question remains, will time smooth out its rough edges and make it more accessible and relatable to the public? Responding to current challenges and internal conflicts, Camilla could try to bridge the gap between tradition and modernity. Using her position to create social change initiatives could help improve public perception of her role. It's a chance to show the monarchy's human side, blending royal duty with society's real concerns. If you're interested in this complex topic about the British royal family, don't forget to like and subscribe. Your engagement inspires us to create more content exploring one of today's most enigmatic institutions. We always strive to offer new insights into the complex processes behind palace doors.